Hey Frag fam, Corbin here again from Northwest Scent. So today we have a pretty special first impressions video, at least in my opinion. We're gonna be talking about two new fragrances or new-ish, these both got released about a month ago. And these both sound really intriguing to me. Ever since I heard their announcement and read into their like note breakdowns and everything, I've been really intrigued and have been looking forward to actually getting these on hand. So I finally got them. They're both coming from the same house, which is Amouage, and they are Boundless right here. And then the other one is Material right here. So if you want to see my first impressions on these two new fragrances from the House of Amouage, please stick around. But first, let's roll that intro. Alright, welcome back. So like I said in the intro, we're doing my first impressions on the two newest releases from Amouage, which are called Boundless and then Material. And as you can see right here, I do not have full bottles. These are travel atomizers. This one right here is Boundless in the navy blue atomizer, and then the orange one is Material. And these are actually official Amouage travel atomizers. As, as you can see, they have the logo here in the cap. And this is honestly really cool. I didn't even know Amouage made atomizers like this. They're really high quality. They have a decent amount of heft to them. I think there's maybe 10 mils in here. I can't really tell for certain, but that's just a guess. Nonetheless, these were actually gifted to me by my good friend, Justin Copeland. If you guys are unaware of his channel, it's in the link down in the description below. Be sure to go give him a watch and a subscribe. He's an awesome guy and he gifted these to me totally for free. So now I have these awesome fragrances. And from what I've been hearing, these are pretty solid. So I'm really looking forward to finally trying these out. So with that out of the way, let's get into the first impressions. So I think the fragrance of the two that we're gonna be starting with is the one that I was more looking forward to, more anticipating. It is this one right here. This is Boundless. As far as the note breakdown, I'm gonna read it to you guys. So you have top notes of blood orange, cardamom, ginger, and elemi. Mid notes of bourbon, vanilla, and benzoin. Base notes of myrrh, tobacco, cacao, incense, guyac wood, vetiver, oak moss, patchouli, and then papyrus. This honestly sounds amazing. This has so many notes that I absolutely love. You get citruses in here, you get sweet spices, ginger, I really love ginger. It has some resins in it, especially benzoin. That's actually my favorite resin. Usually kind of has this like sparkly quality to it. There's chocolate in here, tobacco. I mean, this thing just sounds amazing. So I think I am bound to like this one, if you know what I mean. <laughs> That was a horrible pun, I'm sorry. Nonetheless, here we go. Let's do my first impressions. Okay. Man, that's a really good atomizer. I hope that was caught on camera. That was a really nice puff. So I'm holding my breath right now. I wanna wait until it settles down a little bit and then we're gonna dive right in. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh. This smells amazing. I can already tell. So the first thing I'm getting, I think it's the tobacco and then the benzoin. This has a very sparkly sweetness to it, and there's a little bit of kind of the smokiness, but in a very smooth way. I guess that smokiness really could be coming from the incense, but to me, it's almost more of like a tobacco style in a way. And you know what this is honestly reminding me of? I'm getting a faint touch of Roja Parfum's Creation E. If you guys have tried that fragrance, it's kind of known for this very high quality Coca-Cola smell, but obviously it's more sophisticated than that, but that's just kind of a Cliff Notes descriptor for it. I'm getting that same kind of sparkly cola style fizzy DNA, you know? It's very lively and it's almost like, you know, sparkling and almost tickling my nose in a way without making me want to sneeze. It's not like smelling black pepper. It's just very lively. I guess that's the best way to describe it. And now it's settling down a little bit. It's not quite as sweet as that initial blast. I'm getting a ton of spice. It's almost like nutmeg or cinnamon, you know? It's a very sharp and kind of assertive spiciness. It, it's just like right there in the forefront. And there's a little bit of this citrus sparkle as well with like a sweet touch. So I'm assuming that's the blood orange. This thing is just very nice right here in the opening so far. I'm really digging this a lot. And I am actually kind of getting that cacao now. It's not super like chocolate heavy or anything like that, but it's almost a cacao powder or cocoa powder, you know, where it's not sweetened. It has more of a bitter quality to it. That's kind of what I'm getting from this. And there's a little bit of this kind of dry woodiness in the background, probably coming from the Gaiac wood. So this is honestly smelling amazing. Yeah, I can tell this is gonna be an amazing fragrance for this upcoming like fall and winter. That's definitely, I think, when this fragrance would be suited. This seems way too much for even warm weather, but it smells absolutely amazing. And there's a faint kind of boozy quality here as well. Bourbon vanilla is known for having this booziness to it in a way, and you know, that's why it's called bourbon vanilla after all. I'm kind of getting a touch of that here. It's just in the far background, and it's 
It's not anything super bitter or like in your face or harsh. It's a very smooth booziness, but it is definitely present. It adds kind of this mature quality to this. So this is really, really nice, honestly. I'd, I'd say at this point now, the first thing I'm getting is the spices. And then I'm kind of getting this like fuzzy cola style resinous quality in the background, kind of blending with the citrus from the blood orange. And then you get a little bit of this woodiness as well. That's a little bit smoky. So there's honestly, there's so much going on in the scent. It's really hard for me. I'm trying to describe it as best I can, but this is honestly really complex. Even though I'm kind of able to get these different, you know, aspects and notes that are popping out, this is honestly really well blended. It's almost like everything is just joined together like a puzzle basically, and it's working in harmony. So this smells absolutely fantastic. So this is honestly meeting my expectations, which were already set pretty high. So that's very impressive. I'm definitely looking forward to being able to wear this one a lot more. Okay, so we're moving on from Boundless now. We're gonna be talking about the other release, which is this one right here. This is Material. Now the notes for this one, it's a little bit of a simpler note breakdown. You have top notes of patchouli and then elemi, mid notes of Madagascar vanilla and benzoin, base notes of tonka bean, incense, gaiac wood, labdanum, oud, and then osmanthus. So I'm honestly seeing a little bit of similarities between these two fragrances. So if I remember correctly from Boundless, this one has elemi, vanilla, benzoin, incense, the gaiac wood. I think all of that was in Boundless as well. So maybe they're gonna have some slight similarities. To me, at least from what I've heard, there people are saying that material is more vanilla dominant. It's more of like a vanilla centric fragrance, which I really do like vanilla. So let's see if that's true. Yeah, do you guys see that atomizer? That is crazy. These are really solid atomizers. Okay, I'm holding my breath. I'm just waiting for it to cool down and settle down a little bit. Okay, here we go. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is a very sweet, creamy vanilla. This is so beautiful. It's not like the bourbon vanilla in Boundless where, like I said, there's kind of that boozy quality in a way that was very smooth, but it was still detectable. I'm not getting any kind of like booziness from this at all. I am getting the patchouli, definitely. That is there in the forefront and that is listed as a top note. So that would make sense that I'm picking it up from the opening. To me, it's a little bit on that chocolatey side, but it's kind of on that leafy side as well. You know, almost where it has like this earthiness to it. Similar in style, kind of to vetiver, but doesn't really smell the same. It just kind of has this like earthiness to it, but it's a very rich earthiness. I'm kind of getting the sparkle as well, which I think is coming from the benzoin they're using here as well. Like I said, it, at least to me, benzoin generally comes across with kind of this like effervescence, you know, it's almost lively. I'm getting a little bit of this powdery nature as well. I think it's coming from the Tonka bean. This one seems just of the two and they both are sweet, but this one definitely seems sweeter than Boundless. I'm just getting this rich, creamy vanilla. The Tonka bean, very sweet and powdery. I'm getting a little bit of sweetness from that patchouli as well. Like I said, kind of a chocolatey but earthy vibe. And then the Benzwin, of course, brings that sparkly kind of cola style sweetness as well. But this one is much more uh, toned down on that Benzwin side. And it says there's labdanum in here too, which is, you know, it's like another resin. Sometimes it comes across kind of heavy and leathery. It can be very sweet as well. I think it's kind of contributing to this like resinous quality that is down underneath here as well. But this is definitely dominated by the vanilla, the patchouli, and then I would say probably the tonka bean. Now, I'm not getting much of that incense. I'm not really getting a heavy smoky quality from this as at all. I was getting a lot more smokiness from Boundless. This is just very level headed. You know, there's nothing really harsh with this at all. It's a lot smoother. Boundless was a little bit more lively and abrasive, I would say, but not in like a bad way. It just had more oomph to it. This seems a lot smoother and a little bit more refined and a lot sweeter. But these both smell phenomenal, honestly. So I'm really glad I finally got to try these and I'm definitely gonna be wearing these a lot more once we get into the colder weather. Well, there you guys go. That was my first impressions of the two new fragrances from Amouage called Boundless and Material. And honestly, if I had to choose my favorite of the two, I think it would be Boundless, although they both smelled absolutely amazing. Boundless just had a bunch of notes that I really enjoy, and so that thing just took the cake for me. I definitely recommend if you guys have not already, go ahead and sample these because they are fantastic. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, I would really appreciate dropping a like just to show your support, and then that way more people can see my videos on YouTube. Or additionally, if you wanna write a comment, maybe just letting me know your thoughts, as well as some new video ideas or topics, that would be great too. And since you're down there doing all that stuff, if you've not already, if you could hit the subscribe button and then the bell notification, that would be amazing. That way you stay up to date on new videos whenever they get released going forward. But with all that out of the way, that's all I really have for you guys today. So I hope you have a good one. Stay healthy, stay wealthy, and smell great.